Hey there folks, and welcome back to Venice in Europa Universe Atlas for the Mari Nostrum expansion. So, let's see, let's go ahead and spend some of this diplomatic power, because we're still... How far ahead are we on tag? Seven years. Yeah, let's, let's spend some of these, some of these diplo points. I guess I could buy up mercantilism. Is there anywhere where I can get another building? I guess it's not terrible to get another slot in like Trent. Sure. Ferrara, but I can't put one in production. It's unfortunate. Yeah, those are those are some high numbers. Yeah, let's just go and do mercantilism for that one. I mean, that's still still a big difference. Like, mercantilism is trade power, which is all of our potent provincial trade power, which perpetuates upstream. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good overall, is what I'm getting at. Let's see, we'll, uh, we'll do that for now. Let's see, another thing We've just, we've got so much money that even though this is not going to be like perfectly useful, I'm going to throw some, uh, some more regimental camps down. Alright, I guess Ragusa, every time. Every time, Dalmatia, Laika will be the uh, <laughs> the first ones because they're uh, in states. Then I guess Humdanji and so we'll put one in Trent. There we go. It's going to burn through quite a bit of our money, but it will provide us with some amount of money going forward because it will increase our force limit. Etc. Etc. Of course, at some point, our guy who gives us increased force limit is going to die. But hey, these things happen. Right, and at some point, we're going to want to get that so we can reduce inflation, which is getting quite high. But we're also getting to the point where we're close to needing to save up points. So yeah. All right, let's get, honestly, let's do, like, two more cannons. Yeah, that'll put us over the force limit, but that's, that's fine. I can get rid of a Merc, as far as that goes. <laughs> a long way to go in Nuremberg. Long, long way to go. I could. The Ottomans are making <laughs> are making gains. I don't say that lightly. All right, Portugal's actually the war leader, so yeah, that's definitely going in their favor, which is good. But I, I kind of like it if if Spain would be taking some harm right now. All right, where are we at in terms of? Yes, yeah, seventy one sixty nine seems pretty good. Visit from some shady people. Uh, yeah, I don't really care, so I'll just take prestige. Thank you. Thank you for the free prestige, sir. Conquer Slavonia. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is the normal stuff. All right, I guess I could go ahead and take that. Alright, the next one is reduce monthly war exhaustion. That'll be nice. Leaders without upkeep, also good. Advisor costs, also good. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that just quite yet.
declared war on Switzerland. I guess we are right about our cap again. More cannons. So that would be ten apiece. Yeah. That seems absolutely fine. Alright, come on back from Genoa. Zavoy, how does Spain feel about defending you? getting closer. They are definitely getting closer. Spain's also further in debt, which is also nice. Bohemia, we're, we're in pretty good shape. Let's improve relations some more. Cologne is the papal controller. The fan looks. <laughs> the tiny little newly reformed Mamluks are helping out Spain. Austria has announced France is their new rival. Did they get rid of the Ottomans? Of course they did. Because how could they rival the Ottomans? They've lost twice to Venice. Good war to help spawn rebel faction to enforce their demands. Oh, interesting. Our rebels spawned. Nice. They don't have a leader, which is unfortunate. Hungary, what are you sitting at in terms of troops? Uh, 30,000. So that is, I mean, that is an actual rebellion. Independence guaranteed by Muscovy. Why, why you do this? Why you do this, Muscovy? I mean, they've still got their alliances, but yeah. Anyway, that's not that's not really worth the trouble, to be fair. When are we talking until that's done? 14 days? Yeah, that's... Wait for these camps to be finished. So what are we talking about in terms of force limit? It hasn't gone up yet. Alright, that's fair. Wait till the end of the month. Forty-three. All right. Yeah, that's fine. We did what? Five camps. Three, four, five, six camps, and we got four force limit out of it. That seems a-okay. Considering you know, three of them were at seventy-five percent autonomy. Showa, showa. Autonomy. Does that mess with? Does mess with trade power. Okay. Fair enough. 24 in both cases in terms of supply limit. Alright. That's fine. Aha. That's true, if I have some spare points, I could make this a trading post. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna futz about it. I'm not gonna futz around with it just quite yet, but is interesting. Alright, so we've got 10 cannons with each army. I do like the sound of that. Wait till manpower gets a little bit higher again. Jeez, the Ottomans 
are pretty serious about this whole, uh, whole dealing with Italy thing. Savoy. Ever closer. Now, Austin is going to go up unless they buy it down. The problem is whether they win their war first. It's Morocco. Morocco is looking the worst, the worst for wear. It must be said. Yeah, there's a von Habsburg in charge of Hungary, as there has been for a while, honestly. Yeah, they dealt with the rebels. Well, it's not a surprise. Our friends is the only place with unhappiness. That's fair. When does there... Okay, 62. Yeah, that's way too far away. So I guess the question is, do I want to just let them be unhappy or do you want to go down there and stand on them and uh, let that increase more slowly. As for now, like Tyrol is, yeah, they're both fine. Head down to like, I guess Verona? Sure. Trent is also, yeah, super happy. Yeah, we're at 95. Definitely keep him this time. Alright, we didn't get Diplo points, so that's that's good. Were you at war with Memmingen? Lorraine, Württemberg, Nuremberg, and Frankfurt. Sure. Savoy, what's your army look like? 22,000. Interesting. So, <laughs> roughly even with one of our stacks. So, that's nice. Ah, good. 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 Spain will not defend them. Uh, Bohemia won't join, but who cares? Yep, confirm. Without war. I can in fact tell you what it is good for. Many things. Many, many things. Oh, and the, and the call went, and we got rid of the alliance. Good. Good. So arrived to be fair. That's right, we could have been could have been allied with Spain. I mean I guess we could still be after we get out of uh, out of this war. France, how are we doing? Really well. Monster, you, you have gotten large. I'm going to improve relations with you. Because you are large. Are they getting any votes? They're not. Bohemia is now voting for Burgundy. Oh, right, yeah, Burgundy is uh, far away, anyway, from them. Arrived in Parma, sure thing. I guess they're going to siege Milan. That's a that's a thing that's going to happen. As at that point, I may as well train out there. Just want to have more mercs to soak up soak up losses. Just really far ahead in on diplomatic tech. Let's increase mercantilism again. Cause more money. Oh, 
What kind of leader did I have? They currently don't have one. There is not, as I remember it, a river between here and Cremona. Indeed, there is not. Yeah, if you guys want to try to siege to roll while I crush your main army, that's that's fine by me. Wurzburg will pay war reps to Lubeck, sure. Yeah, we have a tactics advantage, more morale, they don't have a leader. Yeah, that was... That did not go well for them. Guess I'll track down that particular army. Alright, I guess come back from Hungary. This is not going well for Spain, it must be said. Group relations. Ah, there's our leader. 4-2-2. Two, two. Wow. That is something. I could just siege Graubunden. Sure, take some of these guys and move them to, I don't know, Trent. This is still 22 total. Not currently winter. Play two more and send them as well. <laughs> and now we've taken Parma. As you do. Alright, yeah, we've basically looted it anyway. Come back from Spain. Let's see what kind of peace we're looking at here. Probably want to wait till the end of the year anyway. Yeah, let this aggressive expansion tick down a little bit more. It looks like I assume we're getting more than two per tick here. Yeah, 2.8 per tick on aggressive expansion. So, even if we didn't have a truce for a while left with Austria, they wouldn't be able to join anyway. Ottomans entered a military alliance with Muscovy. Well, shite. Why you do this? Why you do this? Yeah, I mean, I guess that's fine. <laughs> Alright, I guess for now, Pomerania is going to be our Prussian nation of choice. Doesn't look like things are going too well for the Teutonic Order or for Brandenburg. Hmm. Let's head to Navarra for now, and we'll, we'll see what's ahead of us. to Cuneo. The unfortunate part here is I'm pretty sure France is likely to declare on Savoy. Because, you know, they don't have any allies. They're pretty close to not having an army. 
it seems like a good time to do that is what I'm getting at but hey 42 days 33 days it seems seems like it is not in our favor right optimism you know we need the save points for Mantua well, the reduced war exhaustion is pretty awesome Trade conflict, Cassus Belli, sure. Now the Pope is the papal controller. Hmm. That doesn't seem right. Swiss. <laughs> Switzerland will cede Zurich and Breisgau to Lorraine. So they are now just St. Gallen. That's... That is not going well for you, Switzerland. Come back from Munster. So no longer considers Burgundy as a rival. They've announced Baden. That's fair. Fair indeed. Alright, let's... Let's say nice things to Burgundy again. Influential preacher. He gained 10 papal influence which we could spend to try to become papal control. We'll just take the five prestige. Please and thank you. <laughs> and here are the Ottomans. Just traipsing through our territory. Wow. Wow, Portugal. They took a chunk. Alright, peace wise. I mean, they're definitely down for that. Which is all I'm really looking to take. That's just so many points, wow. I mean, I assume Florence, the Pope, and Genoa will probably join a coalition, but uh, does it really? Does it really matter? My assumption is new. The positive fourteen. 13 days, 12 days, eh, I'll go ahead and take this, it'll be fine. Can't even do any gold, the yellow pay us war reps, give us Mantua. That should be fine, I mean somewhere down the road we're going to need to deal with them, deal with them, but for now this will be fine, it'll leave them strong enough to sort of defend against France and yeah it'll be it'll be a thing and Savoy and Austria can't join this coalition so yeah I don't see I don't see us having to go too crazy about waiting Forty-eight to forty-six. Very nice. Very nice. Where are we at in terms of war exhaustion? I mean, I may as well let it tick down this month. <laughs> so we'll head to Mantua, which can hold forty-six troops. Yeah, they will arrive December 2nd, they will arrive December 5th. Yeah, I guess just head down that way. Da 
down that way and you guys can uh, vanish into the aether. Unfortunate, we were discovered by the Ottomans. Uh, Spain. Yeah, they got quite a bit of aggressive expansion with us, but that's... It's not too bad, <laughs> as did France. Hungry get? Not too bad. Yeah, let's let's get this alliance with Spain. Unfortunately, we're a very long way away from favors, but. Maybe they want some, they do want some Ottoman territory. Good. Maybe we can use that. I see. I see. They view Ancona as a province of vital interest. Uh, see, there's a slight problem there. Cause that's that's my home. That's it's my land. Savoy has announced Venice as their new rival. In interesting choice. I know you just ran roughshod over us, but we're coming for you. Alright, sure. Whatever you say, buddy. Whatever you say. This is still Conquer Slavonia, Retake Crete, yeah. All that stuff. Alright, let's take a look here at how bad things are looking against us. The Ottomans have 87,000 troops. The force is a limit of 136. 105 manpower. The, the numbers are large. And Muscovy, force limit of 98. And uh, 50, we'll call it 58 troops with 45 manpower. Yeah, let's I'm gonna call it not ideal. All right, let's just total force limit in the world. Fortunately, you know, th those two are one and two, but we've got three and four uh, in our alliance, and we're sixth ourselves. So that's something. It's not necessarily something all that great, though. Yeah. yeah, France is slightly upset by the whole us allying Spain thing, but that that's fine. Pope has claimed Ferrara, that's fine. <laughs> We're coming for you, Pope. Soon. Soon, buddy. relations with England for no real reason interesting 82% we've got 12% control of Genoa unfortunately we're not collecting in Genoa If I were going to do that, I probably might as well take the guy out of Krakow because we would lose some of our bonuses by doing that. But we have 12% control in an end node, so it's probably worth it. Uh, I'll ponder that uh, while while we take a break because I'm 
I'm going to take one now, folks. Thanks for watching. We had this nice war with Savoy. And now we've got to figure out exactly what we're going to do next. So we still need Ancona. We still need Genoa. We still need Rome. Pretty sure that's the extent of what we still need. Genoa, Mantua. Right, we don't have a core on Mantua. Rome and Ancona. And then we need to take our lands back. We need to go up against the Ottomans. So yeah, so, some amount of some of that will at least be planned in the next episode. Thanks again for watching, folks, and I hope to see you then.